Hello Chief Skaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Chief Skates Club. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. Well, unfortunately, the bills don't stop even if the pay packet does or mortgage interest rates rise. There's still a financial responsibility to your creditors, even if those things happen. If you're facing financially hard times, it's time to sit down and come up with a game plan. The reality is that there are certain bills that can't go without being paid. Your family needs a home to live in and the basic comforts like heat, electricity, water, transportation, and a working telephone. These are the bills that weren't getting paid first. For the telephone, there is no rule that says you need a mobile phone and a landline or that everybody in the house needs a mobile phone. Some people use their mobile phone as their only number, and this is happening more and more often. We ditched the landline years ago. Now, this saves on the cost of two telephone services. And with our mobile package, we get internet. But what about food? Everyone needs to eat. And when things are tough, we sort of like to eat a bit more than we do normally. So you can lower your food costs by shopping the sales, buying in bulk when bulk is actually cheaper. Check that unit price. Visit the butcher and have them cut up your meat to save money. You can read the $300 a month food challenge posts in the weekly newsletters. Now, they're all archived on our website and you'll find a link to the newsletter archive down below. Click on it and it will take you there. If money is tight, entertainment is often the first to go. And it's rightly so. You may have to do without Netflix or Stan and stick to the basic free-to-air TV channels. And since everything's gone to digital, you know, there's quite a few different shows on there and a few different channels. Now, YouTube is free. And there are so many interesting shows that chances are you may find you rarely watch regular TV. If you want to watch movies, you can still borrow them from the library or you can purchase the ones you like when they're on sale. DVDs are really cheap these days, $2.99. And you can watch it over and over and over. And if you've got little kids and it's a favourite of theirs, that is such a bargain. When there's nothing else you can cut and money is still stretched too far to meet all the bills, it's probably time to bite the bullet and call the creditors. No one wants to do it. But you will have a much more favourable outcome if you call them before the bills start falling behind. If you've been a good customer who's had on-time payment in the past, they will help you to make payment in some form without ruining your credit. Now, for your monthly utility bills, most have a service that's called equal payment plan or something similar and there you simply enroll in a program that averages your monthly usage and comes up with a payment amount that stays constant it helps you to budget now this amount you know helps you avoid larger bills in summer or winter depending on how you heat and how you use your power a plan like this also makes budgeting with limited funds a whole lot easier but you don't have to call the utility company to do that. You can do it yourself and then you control how much and when it's paid. Now, ideally, you'll average your bills for 12 months and set up a direct debit via BPAY or whatever is on the bottom of your bill for the set amount each payday. Now, sometimes your bills might show credit. Other times they'll just be paid. But over the year, it should balance out. Now, the benefit is you're making a regular payment in a smaller amount, so it's easier on your limited income to budget. And you can 
if the account is in credit and you absolutely need to skip a payment and use that money for whatever the emergency is. Now, another way to do this, if you're really strong-willed and want to keep your money in your bank account because they're starting to pay interest again, not much, but it's a little, you know every little bit helps, is to open an account just for bills. Again, you average your bills over the year to find the amount you need to deposit into that account each pay and then set up the direct debit from that account um, for the bill, whatever it is, electricity, gas, water, telephone, internet, school fees if you have them, do it like that. You won't have any utility accounts in credit because the money will be in your savings account. And again, at the end of the year, it should balance out. But the advantage is the money is set aside in an account that you own, that you control. But only do this, only do this if you know you're not going to rob the bill account to pay for something else because it is allocated to bill money. Lots of people start out with great intentions and then temptation takes over and they spend the bill money. So don't do that unless you are very strong-willed and know that you will not use that um, account for anything but bills. Now, as for credit card bills, making a payment arrangement will not adversely affect your standing with them or with the credit card companies. Or, sorry, your credit companies. Um, when you're back on solid financial footing, you can resume your normal payments, hopefully a bit more, and get that credit card paid off quick smart. Folks, when the economy is down, it affects everyone, but bills are still going to come due. These few tips are going to help you stay afloat in hard times. I know because they're what I did when we were in hard times, when disaster struck. They work. Not fun, but they work. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. You have subscribed, haven't you? Feel free to leave a comment. And if you do, start that comment with pay bills. So I know that you've watched right to the very end. I read all the comments and I do my best to answer your questions. If you've got a question, if you could put it in all capitals, that would be wonderful because it stands out <laughs> and I will find it much more easily. I'd hate to miss a question and have you think I'm ignoring you. If you know someone who might like this video, please click the share button. It sends them a link. That's all it does. We don't harass them at all. Now, these three simple things like subscribe and share help our channel to grow and to be recognized more easily amongst the billions of YouTube channels. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy world. I'll be back with another video to save you money, time and energy very, very soon. Happy cheapskating, everyone. <laughs>